Well, because um, really unique in the Ibiza landscape. Um, the main reason for that is we are just such a colourful, euphoric, energetic, fun celebration of music. We are, uh, we are really inclusive, it's, it's a party for everybody. Um, whether you're straight or from the queer community, from all different backgrounds, people just come to the Glitterbox dance floor and it's just a huge celebration. Yeah, so we've been working with Harris Newcomb for a number of years now. He's done the campaign for us in 2019, 2022, um, and obviously this year as well in 2023. The idea this year was to just really come in with a lot of colour and expression. Um, which we, I think we've managed to smash getting that uh, across with the dancers. But Harris actually came over to the club and he has painted all of the walls, as you can see, um, with the slogans that are used in the campaign. So when you come um, down on Sunday nights, you'll be able to come and see the dancers dancing with their expression that you can see in the campaign and then you've got Harris's like actual hand done paint on the on the walls so it's it feels like it's um, really all come together so nicely this year and yeah it's amazing to work with them. Glitterbox and High work so well together honestly the main reason is because of the teams I think that the teams like we just you High has the best team High Scream are the best team at production in the world hands down um, and to work with people on that level is just the best, most incredible experience. Um, we have a lot of large flamboyant ideas and somehow the Roman and High Scream, they, they managed to make them come alive um, every Sunday night at the club. And then again, like, layout actually lends itself so well to Glitterbox and we're really different to all of the different nights that are here but you've got the theatre which is generally the more classic um, glitter box vibe and feel with more it was sort of more disco music through there when you come through to the club room it's a lot more underground vibes we've programmed the DJs in that way and then the production obviously flex that as well and then of course you've got the wild corner which is probably everybody's favourite room of the club yeah I can't wait for the nights that we've got there lined up this summer. Honestly, there's so much going into the club and every corner of the club there's going to be something exciting to see or feel or experience. The lineup this year as well, the music that you're going to hear down here is incredible. And yeah, we've just it just feels like we've really leveled up again this year. I'm so happy with, with what Roman and the High Scream team have done and um, yeah, we're, we're ready to go. Yeah, but the idea was like to go back to, as you can see, a very cool ceiling with mirror ball and to create a proper impact full stage, but also something that would work really well for the performer, that's something they can bring it to life during the night. Uh, it's, it's always a very interesting process because basically as soon as, as the season stops, we start to discuss the production for the following year. So it's basically an, an ongoing process. After that, when the concept is there and, and, uh, and uh, we start to, to do the first sketch and do a lot of backwards and forwards. And when we are happy with the final result, to build and produce this one, yeah, it's at least, uh, at least three months for the really like uh, fabrication part. Dancers and I, like they take, play such a huge part in our production and how the brand looks and feels like Lucy um, Fizz, TT Bang and The Misfit. We were speaking about how we wanted it to look all throughout last summer. Every week we would have like debriefs, what could work better, what, what, um, what we could improve immediately throughout the season, which I'm sure we'll continue to do this year. Um, and then we really sat down at like the end of the summer last year in Ibiza and we just went through it all and then we put some mood boards together which we sent to Roman and you came back with like the best production I think that I've ever ever seen actually so yeah I think we've smashed it. It's always a different experience because as we just explained basically the production and the concepts always evolve and it's not like okay we discuss at some point of the year we, we really have always ongoing discussion so basically every summer we see how the production goes how the parties evolve and, and we try to improve it during the summer exactly as, as Amanda said is exactly what we're going to do this year and basically it's kind of a, always an ongoing uh, improvement and uh, experience as we all know it's Sunday night and it opens at 11 
and the night before it's black coffee who close around six seven o'clock so we basically have a few hours to take down all the production of the day before and a few hours to set up that so we have four hours maximum to set up this design all the ceiling with mirror ball all the club room all etc so yeah it is basically we have four hours to transform totally the club uh, to, to have all the, the glitter box immersion yeah it's and it takes a lot of people the, for the dancers for, for a start they're what really sets us apart from like all the other nights on the island um there's a lot of um there's a lot of nights that are quite sort of dark and minimal um but we are really like flamboyant and colorful um, the vibe on the dance floor is just total, totally euphoric. There's so much fun to be had here, and yeah, we're just, yeah it's just a really amazing, colourful experience. How many disco balls did we use this year? Never enough. <laughs> so, you, you have always a lot of challenges because, as, as you can see, the big production, the setup time is very short. So you need, we really wanted to create something like change really the look of the club and also, you know, Amanda talk about the dancer who are very, uh, very, very important part in the party. And as you can see, they have like box, like mirror box where they can dance inside. So the idea was really to be able to create a, a proper kind of universe for each dancer that they, on the full picture, you will see all of them, but also they can really like, uh, 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 reflect independently. So basically, it's a design you can zoom in or zoom out, and you will have you will have a different story. So it's it's never easy when you want to uh, put together such a big design with with that short amount of time. So yes, it's it's um, it's always a challenge to try to transform a club. You know, this room we call it a theater for a simple reason is because when you go to, when you come to Glitter Box, it have to feel like the glitter box show, the glitter box night, and and uh, that's always the biggest challenge to be sure that when the people came, they, they are at high, but at glitter box, and yeah, it's it seems we are at glitter box. Yeah, it does. It's, I don't know how you've done it. It's so mad. Like it feels, it feels really futuristic, but it feels really underground and colourful at the same time. It just feels really cool. It's just obviously it's a big scale production for sure, but it is not like. It, it has a purpose, it tells a story. Yeah, I remember the first discussion we had with Amanda was like, you know, when you, when you watch a mirror ball, if you, cut a, if you cut a slice and zoom in, it could be, you know, it, it could be that. I'm sure it's not, but it could be that. And I'm like, I, I, as soon as you have a story and you have just like a, 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 a very clear art direction, and I mean, all, all the, all the uh, uh, work of, of mood board, of artistic research was done by, uh, by, by Amanda and, and, and all, the, all the glitter box team is very precise. So basically when you have all this kind of information, it's, it's I was able to say easy to nail it in terms of design because you know the direction you want to go and it's, it's big, but I think it's, it's, uh, it makes sense. It's not just big to be big. This summer we've got about 20 performers joining us on stage every Sunday at Glitterbox. Some people bring a new costume every week. Some of the people who travel here from London and other places bring huge suitcases full of costumes to change into throughout the night. Um, it really depends on the performer. One of the key messages of Glitterbox is to express yourself and so the, the dancers are hugely creative and they bring inspiration from everything and it really depends on, on their background or what interests them or what they, what they love. Um, but the message is to, to come and be your best self on the stage. We've had dancers join us from all different kind of avenues. Uh, some people we've met on the dance floor, others on social media, and then we have like amazing people that we work with, like Kitty Smile, who's introduced us to the voguing and whacking communities. I mean, at Glitterbox, we're really intentional with putting a 
wide variety of different people from different backgrounds on the stage. And so everyone kind of brings their own dance moves, their own energy. And the unique thing about all our dancers is that they can get up on the stage and express themselves. And everyone is like different and special in their own way. Like I said, Glitterbox is about expressing yourself and we want you to come out with whatever you want. Um, just wear what makes you happy however you feel you want to express yourself.